place in a moped. Mad. going on gas gang welcome back to the og battles and today it's a wacky tear up between two completely different creations we've pitched a 150 cc single cylinder moped against a four liter v8 sports car and it's going to be nuts so stay tuned and let's go welcome to officially gas <laughs> So welcome back to the OG Battles Wacky Racers Edition and today we are lining up two polar opposite vehicles. We've got a highly modified Italian scooter stepping up against a tuned German sports car. The lineup don't even make sense, but that's why we love it. And in partnership with RaceLogic, today we're going to be switching up the format a little. So first up, it's a quarter mile drag race and after that, we're going to line both lads up for a quarter mile roll race. Both races will be best out of three and both 0 to 60 and quarter mile times will be being recorded to see just how quick these guys can actually go. Let's get over and get to know the vehicles and their owners a little better. So first up and representing for the four wheeled community is Soul and his 430 brake horsepower 1 of 500 edition 4 litre V8 E92 BMW M3. Modifications include a straight through custom Valvetronic exhaust system by Overkill Performance, an AFE cold air intake and a stage 2 remap by Modstop. The M3 is running on PS4S street tyres and weighs in at around 1600 kg, giving them a power to weight ratio of 268 brake horsepower per tonne. It drives its rear wheels via its dual clutch 7 speed transmission. And stepping up against him and representing for the two wheeled enthusiasts, welcoming AD and his 43 brake horsepower 150cc swapped single cylinder Vespa 50 special. This little bad boy started life with four brake horsepower and a blistering top speed of 28 miles per hour. Since then, a lot has changed, and modifications include. A BFA FRT 150cc air cooled engine with reversed barrel, a 5 plate drag clutch, a 40.5mm carb, 10 inch wheels and the engine's been tuned and also built by Eugenio Ferretti from the FRT Ferro race team. The bike's been weighed in at just 85kg and including 80 comes in at a total weight of 160kg giving them a power to weight ratio of 268 brake horsepower per tonne. Exactly the same as the BMW M3s. So things are starting to add up now. The Vespa drives its rear wheel only via its 4 speed gearbox. So welcome to the channel brother. What's going on bro? Bro, um, yeah unfortunately you're kind of the sacrificial lamb today. The guinea pig. The guinea pig. The guinea pig. Uh, if you, up. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those ones where if you win, yeah, no one's really rating it. But if you lose, you know, you got beaten by a ped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still here. And I've got to say, this car is absolutely beautiful. It sounds amazing. Thank you. And, you know, on paper, these cars don't look like they should be. Also, the, the car and the bike or the moped shouldn't be racing each other. But realistically, we found out that they run similar quarter miles. Right. So we thought it could be a good race. It'll be fun. Hey, look, listen, we're here just for the fun of, and the love of cars. So there you go. It doesn't really matter, man. Exactly. Whatever the outcome, it's a good day. The weather's decent. Exactly. And it's been a long time. Exactly. So exactly. Why not? So, so, bro, you know what? That's the attitude we want, 100%. But at the same time, bro, listen, I'm a car guy, yeah? If you don't beat this moped, bro. bro you're the one that put me in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> now you're putting the pressure on me. <laughs> nah, it's all love. Listen, bro, look, good luck. Whatever happens, happens. And um, yeah, let's get into it. No worries. Nice one, bro. Nice one. AD, welcome to the channel. Hi there, mate. Hey, nice to be here. Bro, you, this is crazy. Look, we've <laughs> had some crazy cars on the OG Battles. We've actually had a couple of super bikes too, but we've never had a super moped. Okay, well, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Look, you, you're, you're really up against it today. We have thrown you in at the deep end. Um, you told me what kind of times you can run on the quarter mile, so I, I thought I'd try and find something similarly matched with times in sure. real world, if that makes sense. Um, but you're racing an M3 that's four litres, 430 plus brake horsepower. You're up against it. How do you think you're going to do today? Well, we've got 400 against 40 brake horsepower, but I, um, I'm not very heavy, so um, you know I'm going to try and use that as my advantage. Okay. Um, but I'm up for it, and um, it has a fast car though. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a fast bike too. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I think everyone is rooting for you on this one, and Thanks, um, yeah, we uh, we want to see a, a good race. So uh, all the best, Thank and you. Uh, yeah, 
good luck. Thanks very much. No Cheers, problem. mate. No Cheers. Problem. So first up is the drag races. But before we get cracking, let's hear what they sound like. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 14,500 RPM of one-cylinder goodness. <laughs> Racing a moped. Mad. And that little Vespa leaves the M3 standing at the line, but Sol manages to reel him in and just about beats him to the line by about a car and a half. That was close though. I know the car community were holding their breath right there. Let's line them up and go again. Oh, I'm squeaky, I'm telling you. I was thinking, allow me. All right, look at it. Mate, that was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Yeah, wow, that was un unbelievable. Come on, a Once again, the mighty Vespa gets off the line real strong, but the M3 manages to drive around him and take the win. So checking out the fastest runs achieved by the two using the V-Box and taking a look at the 0-60 rear wheel drive leaderboard, you can see that Sol and the M3 drop into 12th position with a 0-60 time of 4.43 seconds. And as we don't actually have a moped leaderboard, for illustration purposes, we've added the Vespa to the same leaderboard. I guess technically it's rear wheel drive, right? and AD manages 13th position just behind the M3, running a 0-60 to time of 4.47 seconds. Then taking a look over at the quarter mile leaderboard, you can see the M3 drops into 13th position, managing a time of 12.77 seconds on a quarter mile at a speed of 112 miles per hour. AD and the Vespa, not quite quick enough to make it onto the top 15 this time, running a quarter mile in a time of 13.42 seconds at a speed of 97 miles per hour. Still majorly impressive for a one-cylinder moped. And round one goes to the BMW M3. Next up is the roll races. AD also seems to be suffering a breather pipe issue after a last minute repair earlier, meaning oil keeps spraying onto his rear wheel when he's sending it. But AD's a madman and he ain't gonna let death get in the way of a good old race. He ain't stopping. aim for this one is to roll together at a set speed and as soon as they hit the start marker it's go time let's see if anything changes here place your bet
and although he puts up a strong race, unfortunately that little Vespa gets beaten to the line by a bus length. Let's line them up again and see what happens. Once again, that V8 power plant and a DCT transmission proved just too much for that little Vespa. And the M3 takes a W for a second time. So taking a look back at the races, it seems the V8 German muscle just had the edge over the Italian scooter today, but not by a major amount. I guess it just goes to show that power to weight isn't everything, there's so much other factors at play. And regardless of AD and the Vespa not taking a win today, I think we all have to acknowledge what a rapid little bit of kit that Vespa is and how crazy you actually have to be to ride it. The M3 ran strong times today and a massive shout out to Sol for stepping up in a lose-lose situation. <laughs> and once again, big respect to both lads for stepping up and laying rubber. And as ever, let me know which one of the two you'd prefer on your drive. The one cylinder menace or the BMW M3. <laughs> and as ever guys, if you have enjoyed today's battles, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for another epic OG battle. Peace out.